it's time to shake that ash. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Long Kiss TV. So, my lace is a little ashy, but I'm gonna actually install install this wig. This is the icy hair. I'm actually gonna install it whenever I get back from running my errands. We are about to go to Sephora. So here's the deal, we're gonna go to Sephora, I have a few things to pick up, and the Sephora that I'm going to is not in the mall, it's actually like on the strip, so I'm probably gonna grab like something quick for lunch. If not, then I'll come back here and make me like a little veggie taco or something. I really don't feel like going, but I feel like going more today than I did yesterday, and I was supposed to do this yesterday, okay? So we're running out of a few things for work, like foundation, eyebrow, gel, um lip gloss it's just a few things that i'm running out of and there isn't like a beauty supply near me and here recently the things that i want to wear are not at the beauty supply like a certain lip gloss that i want and a certain foundation so i was like you know what let me just go to sephora um i'm not a super like sephora girl i'm not this is not like sephora is not my holy grail that's not my jam you know what i mean but because it's easy to spend too much but I just want to get a few things for work we're working tonight tomorrow and saturday that's the plan y'all know i always end up not going one of those days but i'm really gonna try and go all weekend and then we're gonna come back here and get ready for work i want to make the diy turmeric mask to lighten up my underarms because they are you can't really tell well you can tell on here yeah they're like super black and i need to do hair removal um and then my legs are super hairy so we're gonna go to sephora grab what we need come home do a little like stripper maintenance at the house to prepare for work tonight and this weekend um here recently i've been shaving and i don't like the eos shaving cream so i went and ordered like a diy wax kit so we're gonna wax together at home and then i'm gonna apply my turmeric mask to lighten it because i'm tired of this there's nothing wrong with hyperpigmentation but it does feel a little bit uh, sometimes you know but i was like let me get sephora out the way so then we can come home and do our own thing my garbage disposal is messed up so i put a maintenance order a maintenance request for them to come and fix it but i'm about to leave the house and i did not give them permission to enter if i'm not here if you know you know so i don't know when they're gonna fix that but that's kind of making me want to just grab something out to eat too because my sink is kind of gross so i don't really want to cook in here lip gloss conditioner foundation eyebrow pomade face wash and witch hazel is what i need um and then i'm also going to install this wig because i love this wig but last time i wore it in a bust down i'm gonna wear it in a side part like this but i'm just gonna actually like glue it down install it so that i can melt milk a thousand percent because i don't really i'm working all weekend i want to i want to have my hair already done all weekend i don't want to take it off until next week but yeah that's what it is it is 10 42 i wanted to leave the house by 10 30. um the sephora we're going to like i said it's on the strip so there's no parking lot so i'm just gonna uber because i'm pretty sure the uber will be like five or six dollars um and then uber back here so we're not driving i don't feel like driving today and it's close enough to where i have an excuse to uber okay i don't like ubering but when it's that close it's like come on man i'm not paying for the parking garage I'd rather pay for an Uber than pay to park in a parking garage. No way. Oh, it's in my car. Okay. But yeah, that's the vibe. I had some tea this morning. It was good, but I'm kind of hungry. So I'm pretty sure we'll be grabbing something out. But yeah, we getting to the bag this weekend. We getting cute and get to the bag. Okay y'all i'm having like a breakout let me get closer so you can see can y'all see that i literally never really get pimples but um i'm having like a little breakout right here and i've been putting casserole on my face like every single day so i don't know if that's like drawing out the impurities or if i'm actually breaking out because i did eat like chili cheese dogs and some wings the other night so i don't know if that's what it is or what I've been having a lot of dairy. I don't know if that's what it is, but I'm getting a little breakout. 
but it's okay because I'm gonna make my uh turmeric mask. I'm gonna be using them every day, okay? Can't hold a real bitch that not now, not never. But let me call this Uber, grab my AirPods. Some motherfuckers don't talk to me, not y'all though. I don't mind talking to y'all. I be nervous when I talk to y'all though. I ain't gonna lie. If you meet me in person and you feel like I'm a weirdo, I'm sorry. I just get nervous talking to people. But I love y'all and I hug y'all every single time um, I meet one of y'all. I, I love y'all and I hug y'all and I talk to y'all. But on the inside, my body be like five, four, three. Like counting down to where my brain explodes because I just be so nervous on the inside. I be so nervous. Okay, where are we going? To Sephora. Calling the Uber. This Uber's only five ninety one. I told you. Bye, my crew, let's go. And don't ask for nothing in this store. Don't touch nothing. I ain't playing either, okay? Don't touch nothing. And when I say my crew, let's go, that means my crew, let's go, okay? Thank you. shopping the lady she was like do you want a basket and I was like no I think I'll actually leave because y'all are running my pockets bone dry right now $248 do I want a basket no I want to get the fuck out of here is what I want to do okay so let me show y'all what we got real quick but I'm hungry so we're gonna make this haul real quick because I'm starving I see these sprays all over and it's kind of like a mist I sprayed it real quick I don't even know if I really like this because I sprayed so many of them at once but from reading the notes, I was like, this will be a cute little mister when I'm not trying to give too much, just a little something. And then we got airbrush 
Charlotte Tilbury brand setting spray. I've never tried this. Um, shout out to their marketing team because there were so many black girls plastered over their little counter. And I was looking for a uh, Morphe. Obviously, Morphe is not in Sephora, which I completely forgot that because I told you I don't be in Sephora for real. So um, I'm running out of setting spray. So I grabbed this instead. It was between this and Urban Decay. But Urban Decay, the way it sprays out, I don't really like. I like the super fine mist. And this had that. So we got this brow pomade from the one and only some foundation nars which the first one i tried on that's why you gotta really test stuff out because my skin be changing so much the first one i tried on it looked like it was going to be right in the bottle and then i put it on and it was like at least like five shades darker and i was like whoa y'all seen it i was like uh no so we got this shade i think this one looked the best i can't wait to see a full face beat and then what is this i didn't buy this what is this oh hell no i'm gonna take this back because they just put this in my thing and it's 24 dollars, and i did not buy this i don't even know what this is dry texturizing spray that's for white people i did not buy that and there's two of them in there 24 dollars. i was wondering why my shit was so high yeah, I'm gonna take this back, but I'm gonna wait till my dude can take me because I'm not gonna Uber back up there right now. I don't, it's not the vibe. Um, and then I got some lip gloss, the Fenty lip gloss, which is glass slipper heat. Y'all be asking me what lip gloss I'm wearing. Nine times out of 10, I have lip liner and this on, or sometimes just this. And then I also got her um, Ball and Babe mini lipstick, just so I can have like a nude. And that was it. But yeah, that texturized and dry spray, uh-uh. -oh taking that right back that sucks because i already ubered home but that's 24 dollars a piece so that is about 50 dollars running i'll probably take it back on sunday i'm gonna keep this over here and if they don't take it back oh it's gonna be a problem because that was not in my fucking thing maybe it was but i didn't mean to buy it but anyway we stopped and got kava and a lady at kava was a bitch she was just rude for no damn reason. Calm down, girl. She was rushing. Like, it's okay. Mm -mm. The, the pita is soggy from the braised lamb. My taste buds feel a little off. I don't know what that's about. My taste buds really feel a little off. Maybe because I just rinsed with mouth mouthwash before I left, but that was like an hour ago. I shouldn't still smell like it. And I left my pita chips. I'm getting pissed off. Cause that bitch was rushing me. That bitch was rushing me for no reason. Okay. So I, in my bowl, I got lentils, rice, veggies, spicy chicken, corn, all the toppings, cucumber, all that. Um, and I think I got a garlic sauce. I got all the veggies. I'm about to, oh, and I got feta too. This is good. Okay, but that's that spicy shit. Okay. I have chips here that I'm going to eat this with, even though I paid for pita chips. And I left them there because that, like I said, that bitch was rushing me, being rude. Like, y'all going to have a lunch rush. It is what it is. It's okay. I said I wanted to be home at 11.30, and I was back at 11.35. I just dumped my kid's meal inside of here, too, because why not?
Ate the pita on the side. And then I got a side of um, vinaigrette dill and tzatziki. Mm-hmm. Baby. She was a bitch, but I can't hold them on the food. I almost got Shake Shack, but it wasn't given. These chips are actually purple. They just taste like potato chips. So they're purple potatoes, and they're um, seasoned with sea salt. Um, Do y'all like copper? Cause it be giving. It really do be giving. I don't get why I feel like in between every task I have to take a nap. Like, I don't get it. Maybe it's because the last two days I was productive from sun up to sundown. That's probably what it is. Because right now I'm like, before we start this hair removal, I might need to lay down. But. The last two days I worked like 11, 12 hour days. And I've been up since like eight. I didn't take a nap yesterday. I was in my bag yesterday. So that may be why. Cause I just require a nap every single day. But I'm about to finish eating this let me give y'all a bite because I'm being rude mm -hmm. wait let me get a chip on there y'all gotta get the full experience now you got your little chip you see that mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat And chill out and then we're gonna get into this hair removal and our DIY turmeric mask they have not came and fixed my sink yet so I'm not in my cooking bag today whenever the garbage disposal is broke I you feel like my sink is dirty which makes me feel like my kitchen dirty and I ain't finna go down in no dirty ass kitchen that's not how that works I figured it out. Chipotle tastes childish and American. And Cava tastes a little mature and Mediterranean. Like, that's what it is. I don't know if it's the aesthetic of each place. But Cava seems a little more healthier and a little bit more mature chipotle is like mm -hmm. i've been trying to figure out what the difference is um that's the difference flavor profiles and aesthetic can y'all tell that that foundation's on my chin i think i did a perfect match 
there's foundation on this chin. I feel like my chin doesn't look different from the rest of my skin. Right? So yeah. Anyway, I'm just writing my mouth. I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all, so I have changed it to something comfortable. We are about to open our Trust Wellness Wax Kit. This is DIY, affordable. Um, I really just wanna focus on lightening my hyperpigmentation and removing the hair and not dealing with like razor bumps and stuff like that. I have noticed recently since I've been shaving, I will get like one or two, maybe three ingrowns. But I think that has to do with like preparation, exposing and all that. So I was like, you know what? We DIY today. So in my kit included, you'll have the wax warmer, pre-wax and after wax spray, paper rings to go over the warmer so that you're not getting the warmer dirty, wax beads, wooden sticks and an instruction manual. Yeah, so this is a complete kit. kit. It comes with everything you need. I got it off of Amazon. Get into it. After wax spray with the before wax. Super small, which I like that because I can just store it under my sink. Let's put this together real quick. This thing is so cute and small and convenient, y'all. This is my hand. Look how small this thing is. It's literally perfect. I'm about to plug it up in the bathroom, get the wax warm, and prepare to go ahead and get this thing started. All right, y'all, we got her plugged up and I'm so ready to get this. Do y'all see this? It's looking kind of ridiculous. But first, I'm going to put these little spray things in here. And so far, what I like about this particular one is that it's small. Um, it comes with instructions. If you're not familiar with it, it comes with everything you need. The pre-spray, the post-care uh, spray. Um, different types of waxes, the sticks, um, instruction manual if you're not familiar with it, the cleanup thing so I don't have a mess, on top of the benefits of waxing in general. So I am super excited. Um, and then it was really, really affordable. I think I spent $81 on all this, including the big bag of beads, which the big bag of beads I think was like $20. So you can get the whole kit itself for like $40. And also it's super cost effective because one of the main reasons why I had stopped going to get my shit wax, time and money. So like, okay, for example, I just paid 80 for all this, right? When I go get my shit waxed, it's $80 before a tip. I have to schedule it. Sometimes I have to pay for parking. Um, obviously, I mean, I know we're all grown, but just laying down, sweating my balls off, having some stranger just do that is not my favorite so just being able to save money and do this in the comfort of my own home um at my convenience is like that was enough for me like i'm sold but i was like i want to do this with them i want to do this with y'all so y'all can get the real raw reaction and see if it's worth it if it works or not like i said we're using the tea tree one so we're just gonna pour this in here and put the lid on and let her warm up while we're warming up, I'm just gonna prep my underarms. So earlier when I went shopping or whatever, I did have on um, deodorant, obviously. So I'm gonna wipe that off to make sure I'm having a clean surface. I don't want nothing but the hair, okay? And y'all, I'll be watching waxing videos and I love seeing the hair, like the strip after they pull it. I know that's kind of gross, but I like seeing it. This is the after spray. So I'll spray this on after to help with like any burning sensation I have, which I feel like this alone is worth it because what? Baby powder because your girl be sweating. So this is supposed to help clean it. So I'll spray this before. Mm, it smells good. Now I do sweat really bad. So I'm still gonna top it with some powder. That's just my preference. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but that's what I'm finna do. And hyperpigmentation is completely normal, y'all. I don't think we should be ashamed of it, but I also think there's nothing wrong with wanting an even skin tone as well. You feel me? Nothing wrong with it. Let's let this dry. 
check on our beads oh shoot our beads is starting to melt so this temperature thing goes all the way from zero to 257 so she's melting right now she's getting good and melted okay now that our wax is completely melted see how the consistency is still like watery kind of you want it to get like honey a little bit so you let it cool off just a little bit okay y'all i got myra on the phone she just walked me through some steps confirming what i already thought because you know she went to school for this shit. okay so i got my stick you keep twirling it Ooh. and i'm double dipping because this is my motherfucking armpit you don't have to double dip if you don't want to And then you want to get this part like a little bit lifted. But I got my little peeling part right here. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm regretting this. <laughs> Rip it fast. Why are you looking like there's something to anticipate right now? Ooh. Ooh. That wasn't that bad, actually. I, I didn't get the whole piece off, but okay. It wasn't that bad. I'm going to get this and then I'm going to come back and do the other one with y'all. Okay, hold on a second because I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Okay, so I got that off. I'm gonna do one more on this side. You wanna turn it like this to keep it from dripping. And then... This is our last little piece, y'all, on this side. Then we can move on. I will say that this is nothing like when you go get it done. They It hurts so much worse when you go get it done um now my application could have been a little bit thicker but hey i'm okay with this because and then also i'm seeing like the bulbs like it's pulling the hair from the actual follicle not just like yanking out the tip and that's what you want to make sure that the entire hair is out but this is the least painful wax i've had so far yeah one two but this was a, just a little cleanup strip if you can tell, there's like just a few hairs in there. I'll just clean it up and then take our after wax spray. Spray it on there, just rub it in. That feels so good. So we're done with one. On a scale one to 10, the pain was like a four. When I go get it done, it's like a 10. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if it's how they do it or what, but it was really not bad at all. Got all the hair or four. So now we're gonna do this one, which I'm kind of nervous because I have to spread it with my left hand, <laughs> but whatever. Okay, we got a good chunk of it. I know, I know, all you waxers gonna be in the comments like, you're doing it wrong. Let, let me be, man. Okay, that's it for our first one. Let her dry, let her dry. I'm also gonna do my mustache. This is the easiest wax I've ever done. Or had, put it that way. This one hurt. <laughs> this one hurt a little bit. Can y'all see that? So that was really simple, really easy. And I'm just so surprised and spray this on there, which I like the after thing because if you have any leftover pieces, this spray just helps remove it off. But this immediately relieves your skin, feels so soft and good. And that's it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up the, um, turmeric mask and apply that and then we will be done and i will show you guys the before and after i give this experience a freaking 10 out of 10 because honestly like i don't know what's in this wax but it is completely different than the wax that they use at the salon i didn't go to school for this i've honestly never done this i get waxes all the time but i've never waxed at my house because i was scared i was thinking that i'm gonna apply the wax and then not rip it off and i'll just be sitting there stuck like i thought it was gonna hurt too bad for me to 
actually be able to pull it off and that's not true i pulled it right off and then also the cleanup is nothing because this thing catches like what you would have spilled it spills on this instead of the actual machine so clean up very minimal i just take this and i can throw it away it's not that dirty so i'm gonna keep it and i just unplug it make sure it's turned off unplug it and let it cool off and then i'm just gonna store this just like this in my bathroom with the rest of the tools and stuff i'm probably gonna keep it in the box because just so everything's together in one place but yeah i didn't use a lot of wax i have a lot of wax left over like i said cheap y'all i'm sorry i keep bringing that up that's because i'm in my saving money bag right now y'all seen i just spent all that money at sephora but i need that stuff you know what i mean well i don't need nothing but to stay black and die but you know what i'm saying you know what i mean yeah we're gonna put i'm gonna put this up and then i'm gonna get the ingredients that we need to make our um mask for our tumor mask to help lighten the underarms and then we'll be finished and i cannot wait to show you guys the before and after so yeah meet me in the kitchen okay meet me in the kitchen so i got me a mason jar i melted some coconut oil in here and now i'm gonna take this which I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's the water that you use to remove your makeup. I'm gonna put that in here. I'm only gonna make a few of these. And then mix it up. And then this turmeric I get from Ross but you can get it from Target, Walmart, Amazon. You want turmeric. If you want to make your own turmeric, you can. I ain't doing that. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I'm not doing that. But you wanna dump a lot of it in here. People use face wash too, but I'm so low on face wash. I forgot to tell y'all that earlier. When I went to Sephora, um, the face wash and stuff was too expensive. So I'm just gonna get what I usually get from either Walmart, Target, or Amazon. I might order it on Amazon because I kind of need it ASAP. But um, the Sephora stuff was just, it wasn't giving. But you wanna pour a lot in there. Mix it all up, make sure it's mixed up really well. And then we're gonna have these pads right here, cotton rounds, whatever you wanna call them. I got mine from Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna take like this many of them and drop them in there. Stab it, stab it, stab it. Oh, we can fit some more. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna use these every morning and night on my underarms and my eye, I mean, not my eyes, my face, but you should be able to tell an immediate difference after using it. So you want them to get completely saturated. I don't know if these will get completely saturated. Mix them up. Now me personally, I don't want this to stain my nails. So I'm about to grab some gloves. Now these are my cleaning gloves. I do have some uh, regular gloves in my bathroom, but I'm not trying to go all the way back in there. I said all the way like I'm in a mansion. Oh well. I'm not trying to go back in the bathroom, so I'm just gonna use these. If you don't want to use gloves, you don't have to. What you'll need is some acetone um, to rub on your nail after you've used this and you wanna do it immediately after because turmeric does stain, y'all. So don't, don't come to me salty when your nail is fucked up. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of my little pads and see how black it is. I'm just gonna, I can use one for both of them really. So this is gonna work as an exfoliator. You need to look up the benefits of coconut oil is gonna extract any dirt out. It's kind of like an armpit detox and lightning treatment in one. This shirt I sleep in, so I don't mind if it gets stained. Don't mind, not one bit. Same thing for the other side. Spread her on. Yeah, 
yeah i'm just when i can think about it i do want to work on areas of my body that i can work on without like getting procedures because i'm quick to go get a procedure done like that's my whole like shit i could go get my shit bleached but i could spend a, an extra hour a week a few minutes a day um doing something natural that will help with the issue instead of just want to go cover the issue up you know what i mean okay Bay, what time is it can you set an alarm for 1.45? But I'm just gonna put the lid on here, leave it just like this, and we're gonna let her soak for, I say 10 minutes is what I set the alarm for. And then I will come back and show you guys the before picture versus the after, okay? Give me like 10 minutes, I'll be right back here's before and here's the after so super soft super smooth no hair left behind fading has already gone down a little bit just off of one time 10 minutes and one thing i will say is usually when i go get waxes professionally my skin will be so tender and so sore that i can hardly touch it um sometimes it bleeds sometimes i have like to put aloe vera on it and like vaseline or something to stop the bleeding because sometimes it bleeds i have no bleeding no irritation i can smack my arm i can rub it I think that the sprays that they give you before and after really help and then like i said the wax the hard wax being having a lot of natural ingredients in them helped a whole lot so yeah i'm still gonna do my mustache just not with you guys <laughs> but i'm gonna do my mustache and then i'm gonna do under my belly button as well but thank you so much tress wellness for sponsoring this portion of today's video i really appreciate it y'all are helping me get in my diy bag saving money no pain okay they say no pain no gain no not with tress wellness baby i could just slide it on and rip it off and i got everything i need in the kit i'm looking at the microwave because it's supposed to go off and i don't want it to go off while i'm talking to y'all but yeah anyways y'all so like i was saying this the issues that you have with going to go get it professionally done i did not experience today and i really appreciate that because i'm trying to get into my self-care you know like the wigs be cute but like come on let me put the girls onto some good self-care items for the house okay so I'm super thankful and I obviously I'm going to keep this. The only thing I'm going to change is I'm going to add and fill this up and so I can use it for everything because this is not a lot. This is just a few of them, but I want to use them for like my elbows, my knees, scars where I've had eczema. You know, it's winter time, so we have to get it together and keep it together. OK, but yes, I'm keeping my all my waxes and my sprays in the box and thank you again trust bonus for changing my opinion on waxing at home and waxing in general i probably will not go to a professional waxer anymore um now obviously downstairs i cannot show that on youtube but we're gonna do that too but obviously you know we can't show that on youtube but i'm just feeling like when i think of waxing i think of pain i think of bleeding i think of hurting i think of sweating my balls off and it's like with this tress wellness complete kit it made it to where none of that happened and y'all just got to experience it with me so make sure you check the description box below if you want the information to this kit um one thing about me i can't fake no pain okay if it trust me if i can take this you can take it says the woman with tattoos on her face but i mean it okay but anyways, I'm about to take a nap. It is like 1.43 or 4 or 5 maybe. I'm trying to wake up and go to work later. I just wanted to make sure I get right and tight first with my makeup from Sephora and then removing my hair. And yeah, I'm full. So we're going to have a nap and then get up later and beat the face and then go to work. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm going to go. I ain't got no excuse. I'm going to go. I'm just tired. But um, I'll see y'all later when it is time to do our makeup. And I don't know if I'm, I, I wanna wear this hair later though, to be honest. I don't know if I am, but I kinda want to. Yeah, I kinda wanna wear this one. But I have a blonde, like highlighted blonde one that I also kinda wanna wear to do like a little half up, half down moment with like some baby hairs. So I don't know. 
I'm gonna look in there and see. Or do I wanna wear curly? I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out, but I'll see y'all later when it's time to do the makeup and hair and all that and get ready to go. Hey y'all, so we did our makeup and hair. I have showered, all my hair is gone. I'm ready to go. But um, I got this. I've seen this on TikTok and I got this while I was at Sephora earlier. I showed you guys this and it smells good, but it's super sweet and I'm wanting to mix it with something so y'all already know what time it is. Dossier in the building. Let's pick our fragrance for the evening. So this one is Golden Rum and Amber. This sensation that inspired us, the warmth of rum with its sweet, almost ambery faucet, facets, however you say it. We wrapped a natural rum extraction with mellow vanilla and candied fruits. Oh, okay. Top notes are bitter almond plum and middle notes are rum, clove, and cedarwood. Base notes are vanilla, toba balm, and candied fruits. Ambery and fruity, okay. The Speak Easy collection, which is which is inspired by, I've had one fragrance from that Speak Easy before, and the whole like inspiration is like happy celebratory type vibe, which is why a lot of the scents are inspired by drinks like uh, cocktails and mojitos and things of that nature. Um, so this is golden rum and amber. Let's see what it's hitting for. I love these tops, y'all, because it's just bah. But let's see what it's hitting for. Golden rum and amber from the Speak Easy collection. Mm -hmm. It's exactly what it smells like. If you have any of the ambery scents, it's that with a hint of rum honestly and it is absolutely perfect i know i'm gonna make a bag it happens every time i've been wearing dossier for a while now and i literally that's my conversation started i can walk past someone and they're like damn she smells good and i'll be like huh they're like you smell good i'm like thank you what's your name what you guys up to like it's just like it's perfect it works out but this is what you're gonna look for on the website if you try it and you don't like it, you can always send it back. Make sure you use my code LipBombKiss5 at checkout to save you some coin. Thank you again, Dosia, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And just sponsoring my life because y'all have me smelling good. And that's what brings me the coin. When I look good and I smell good and I'm confident, it's just like it all works out. And like I said, I didn't used to be a perfume girl, but I don't know how I wasn't like the highest form of femininity you can have is smelling good I feel like looking and smelling good it's a part of self-care it's a part of hygiene and yeah hey, I want to thank Dossier for pouring into that portion of my life because growing up I was never like you need to have a perfume like I wasn't you know told that or taught that and no shakes for my mom because my mom be smelling good all the time but I mix that Dossier usually with like a baby powder fragrance which that I did get from my mom she used to always smell like baby powder and I fell in love with it. So I mix Dossier with my baby powder or Dossier with something else and it's just, it's like my personal scent, you know what I mean? So it just, I don't know, it just gives. And if you work with me, you know I'm not lying. Y'all always saying I smell good. Oh my God, who is that? You smell good. You smell good. I'd be like, thanks, thanks, thanks. <laughs> but I'm about to pack my bag and make sure I'm ready to go and head to go to the club it's like 8 37 so i probably won't get on the floor until before 10. i'll probably be here in like 15 minutes get there by nine by the time i get dressed and hit the floor it'll be one probably before 10. so my house will probably be like 105 dollars but i mean it was worth it for me to take my time and get ready and not rush let's go let go hello and we're meltiana we finna eat tonight. Mm -hmm. Bone apple tea. to eat my food 
Oh, you're fucking lying. That was loud. I stopped at McDonald's because y'all, I only, the only reason I left work was because I legit started feeling sick. Like my vision got blurry. Like it's blurry right now. And I got nauseous because I haven't ate since earlier when I had kava. Like after I had kava, I chilled for a second, then I waxed and then um, did my turmeric mask and stuff. And then I took a nap for like there a, she is. an oh, hour and a half. Let me turn it down. I took a nap for like an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. And then I got up and got ready for work. Like I did my hair and my makeup and then I showered and then I just left. Like I completely forgot. And something told me to pack Let's watch Love is Blind. There's a new season of Love is Blind. I like this show. But there's a um, season five. Let's do it. There's a freaking... My couch is dirty. Oh, well. Anyway. Ooh, that's salty. I have leftover kava, but it wasn't enough to like have for a meal. And I was thinking like, oh, I'm gonna snap on my after work. But I was too hungry to even come in the kitchen, fumbling around, figuring it out. Like tomorrow, I think I'm gonna cook some, um, I'm gonna cook some salmon before I go to work. Because that stretched me out. Real shit. Like, I got me double some nuggets and some fries, but I got to work at like 9 30 and I stayed until like 2. Do y'all watch Love is Blind? Anyway, this is not what I usually get from McDonald's, but the last two times I ordered what I usually got, it was nasty as hell. So I had to, the McDouble never fell. The nuggets never fell. But sometimes I get like this chicken club sandwich, the deluxe with all the veggies, and sometimes it be nasty. The McDonald's line was low-key long, so I was getting irritated. But it was a cool night. I'm glad I... I wish I would've went a little bit earlier, because I probably would've did a little bit better. I feel like when you come late, you gotta stay late. If you can come at like seven, eight, then you can kinda like get someone early and then get someone later in the night too. But I couldn't stay late today. I tried and I should have just ordered food, but I was too hungry to even wait on food to get there. So I just left. I already feel a little better. I'm telling you that hungry shit. I was at work gagging like would y'all go on Love is Blind? I think I would be able to do it. Because I don't care about looks anyway. I think I would be able to go to Love is Blind. No, let me back up. I care about looks, but not enough for it to make or break if I fuck with someone. But I am a jealous person. So once we got a little connection, I would tell them they had to cut everybody off. You know how they like on this show, they be dating like they'll go on the pods and talk to like different people like i feel like once we hit it off you can't talk to anybody else but that's the point of the show i can't wait to shower and lay down i got some juice i made yesterday like some beet juice it's actually beet and pineapple in one lime it's bomb it's bomb have some water and have some of that. Mm. 
But we did make a bag tonight. Could have made two bags, but I just. Y'all have never seen me sit here and smash McDonald's like this. That's how you know. I bitch is hungry. I'm almost done. And I'm proud of myself because I was so sleepy that I almost didn't go to work. You know how sometimes you take a nap and it make you more sleepy? Yeah, that was me. I came home early so I can get a good night to rest now. Even though I probably won't be asleep for like another hour, hour and a half. When I come home from work, it takes me minutes to wind down. I can't just like go straight to sleep like that. I be trying. I almost got a Big Mac. Like I was so mad and hungry. No! Wow. I'm finna eat this shit. I just dropped my last nugget. That just pissed me off. I just got these rugs clean though. Like professionally clean, so. Oh well, shit. Damn, that pissed me off. Okay. I need some, I need some water. Water first and then I'll drink my juice when I lay down. My teeth were insensitive. I'd swallow this whole fucking carton right now. My teeth is sensitive. That's good. I'm about to take this makeup off. This will be cute and a layered bob, like the shoulder length. But anyways, I got a burp. I don't know. I like the black. I don't know. I might do the highlight tomorrow. I might not. I don't know. But one thing I am gonna do is set this meat out so I can cook this salmon tomorrow. I'm setting this out and I'm cooking it tomorrow. Atlantic salmon sal salmon with Monterey rub. So it's already seasoned and everything. I'm probably just gonna throw it in the oven or on the grill. And then I'll make me some Brussels sprouts and some carrots and some, I'm gonna serve the salmon over rice because who finna be at work hungry tomorrow? Nope. I mean. I think I'm just gonna shower and go to bed tonight. And then I'm gonna wake up at like 8 and completely clean my house. Make me some breakfast. Make this dinner slash lunch so I can have it for the evening and then go back to bed until it's time to go to work. So I think I'm gonna still try and wake up at like, honestly, like 7 or 8 and clean do the dishes and cook and clean and then lay back down and get ready for tomorrow i mean get ready for tomorrow night but i'm kind of bored of this hair it's kind of annoying i, I just don't know what i want to do with with my hair next y'all know i got some wigs here but i just don't know which one i want to wear i guess i'll see how i'm feeling tomorrow but i'll catch y'all tomorrow don't worry y'all gonna get y'all gonna get a money count we have a meeting at work on sunday but i don't know if i'm going because I kind of have something to do Sunday. I need to take that stuff back to Sephora and then I'm going to, he has a, like a family day at, his, at one of his jobs. So I thought about going to that, but I just really don't know. I gotta see how I feel. Um, Cause I'm, like I said, I'm working tomorrow and Saturday too and I work tonight. But your girl hasn't been drinking at work. So I don't feel like too shitty, but I still will probably be tired by the time Sunday rolls around. So we will freaking see. We'll see, but I'm about to take all this off. I think I snapped. I think I did good. 
I'm gonna take this off and shower and hit the sack. You dig? I still can't believe how good I did on my underarms, honestly. I can't believe it. But anyway, I'm sleeping and yapping in my head itching. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. So it's the next day. It's like 11.22. Y'all, I never, ever sleep in that late. Like, I usually at least wake up once to, like, go pee. That ginger make you wanna. It's ginger beets, pineapple, and lime. It's good with that ginger. Who in the back of my throat? Anyways, I never sleep that late without waking up once to like go use the restroom or get some water or like check my email and then I'll go back to sleep. You know what I mean? I slept from 3:45 after we got done eating at McDonald's. I showered, washed my face, did my little skincare and shit. I was in bed by like three something. I was asleep by like 3.45. And y'all, I woke up at 11.20. I never sleep that late for real. But I'm cooking. Let me show y'all. It's looking so good so far. So this is our vegetable medley. It has onion, red bell pepper, Brussels sprouts, um, turmeric, black pepper, cherry tomatoes. And it's all mixed up. And I'm just popping this in the oven. I think what I'm gonna do is like a plate of like the rice, salmon and veggies, or I may do like a salad. But I think I'm just gonna do a plate with rice, salmon and veggies because I'm taking it to work and I know a salad sitting out is not gonna be that good. So I don't know if I'm gonna take it to work or if I'm gonna just pack it and eat it right when I get off. I don't know. I may just actually eat dinner tonight instead of not eating dinner because yesterday I didn't eat dinner. I ate lunch. I, I ate kava with y'all and then I went to work that night. I never ate dinner last night. So I'm thinking I'm just going to eat this for dinner and eat it for dinner tomorrow too uh, before I go to work. That way I'm not starving. And then when I get off of work, maybe I'll just have some breakfast or something. Let me show y'all our salmon. This is our grilled salmon. It came already seasoned with um, Montreal seasoning. Um, she's looking real cute. I'm letting the skin get crispy because I like when the skin is just like extra, extra crispy. And then y'all just saw our vegetables. I just popped them in the oven. Nothing crazy, but I was thinking, oh shit, my boo calling me. Hi, honey. Hi, Maverick. Um, did you want to go to Saigon? Are you serious? I can't. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna do what I gotta do around here. Just let me know when you're, um, bye. He's taking me to my favorite restaurant for lunch. But um, anyways, I'm glad I got up and started cooking because I was going, I, I never say no to Saigon's, okay? If you know me, you know I love me some Vietnamese food and you know I'm gonna bust it down every time. And that's what he's talking about taking me to. So, um, and that's fine because I'm not sleepy or nothing anyway. And I plan on leaving my house today at six, which means I'm gonna start getting ready at like 4.35. Or I can leave my house at seven. I can leave my house at seven. I'm gonna start getting ready at five something. But anyways, our salmon's done, so I'm gonna turn that off because it's still gonna cook even though I turned it off. And now I'm gonna just straighten up. I got dishes to do and maybe a little bit of laundry. I'm gonna just do shit around here. Um, I'm actually I was gonna do it with y'all, but I'm actually about to hop on live and do it because I haven't been on live in a while and like I got y'all fucked up. And if you know, my lives be lit, so make sure your notifications are on so that if I go live, because I be going live sometimes. Sometimes I get busy, and sometimes I be live all the time. Now I'm finna go live right now, so, and clean up with y'all. So make sure your um, notification bells are on so that you're notified whenever I go live or post a video or post a community post or anything of that nature. But um, my food's pretty much done. My rice is instant rice. Let me show you guys. Today we're gonna do some instant coconut jasmine rice on days where I am like in a rush. Like today I'm going to work later. I don't really have time to be Chef Boyardee. I love my instant rice and then it tastes good. You just break it up like this. If you don't break it up, you're gonna notice the difference. So make sure you do what I'm doing right now. You do this and then you just 
open it halfway and pop it in the microwave for one minute and it is so freaking good and this one is moist because it has i think the coconut dense coconut condensed milk in it so it makes it a little creamy or like a little bit moist now the other ones like the um lime the lime one's kind of dry but the coconut one is so i'm gonna serve the salmon over that and yeah that's pretty much it i'll show you all the finished product whenever it's done but I need to hurry up and do my stuff around the house so I can go on one state with my man and my man. Thank you to my man. So y'all, I'm on live. Just like I told you, I was about to get on live and clean up. And we got Don Tolliver going in the background, chopped and screwed. And I'm hanging with my booze. If you are not on this live, what are you doing, okay? If you're on this live right now, I love you. Hey, love. Hey, y'all. Tony, Dee Dee, Inconsistent Queen, Jasmine, Bernicia Rogers, Shantae, Lyrics by Mew, Whitney, Renee Wonderland, Kissy, OG. They in this bit. They in this bit. Okay, y'all, we're still on live, but I just wanted to come show y'all the food. If you hear some popping sounds, that is the skin. I like, ooh, bitch. I like my skin crispy. So, that's what that is. Y'all just see me burn my hand. But, um, this is the food. Can y'all see? It's salmon over rice, the vegetables, salad, and then some carrots. And then I put that same mix y'all saw before, the cranberry nut mix in the salad and then some cherry tomatoes. And I'm just snacking on these. Hope they're good. And we're still on live. Mm -hmm. Kicking it. But he's gonna come get me and we're having lunch. And then I'm gonna come back here, take a nap, and go to work. I probably won't see y'all until later tonight when it's time to shake that ass. Hey y'all, so we worked last night. I'm gonna give y'all a tea, don't worry. But I just wanna show y'all my breakfast because it looks so good. So we got. Um, the yellow dragon fruit. Hold on. Let me turn that bitch down. No, I'm just playing. It's all up my room. I'm just playing. But we got some fried eggs, some turkey bacon, two mini bagels, um, a date, and some nuts, and then the yellow dragon fruit, y'all. This plate is giving me. This plate is giving me such satisfaction, like. It's giving, and then I got my date and my nuts because I need some more um, omega-3 and like nuts in my diet. Obviously, the yellow dragon fruit is good for your digestive system and hydration, and then the eggs, protein, turkey bacon protein. And then I gotta have me a little bagel, but I got the minis, and then I got the organic um, cream cheese. But I'm about to have this tonight. We're switching the hair because I'm over the black hair. Nothing wrong with it. I'm just over it and I want to just give something else. You know what I'm saying? So I think I'm going to go with the highlighted wig like I was saying yesterday. I'm going to see y'all tonight for real. All right, y'all. So it is like eight something. It is Saturday night. We are supposed to get to work. Um, I've already packed my bag. I'm wearing a dress tonight. <sighs> I'm actually really tired, but it's the last work day for me this week. So we're gonna go get it in and we are staying hopefully until the end of the night. I'm probably gonna grab a Red Bull when I get there because like, you girl is tired. And yes, I'm digging my nose. Don't act like you don't dig in your nose. Y'all get on my nerves acting like y'all don't do shit that everybody does. You feel me? Erky. But anyways, I will check in with y'all when we get to the trap house. Okay? And this money count, it's already so, it's already looking so good. Okay, so stay tuned. Last night, let's do it. 
Good morning. Good morning. I think I'm going to make me a little tea this morning and take my supplements. I'm actually starving. But I want my tea to be the first thing I consume for the day. So for my tea, I'm gonna do mugwort and my PCOS hormone balancer tea. And that'll be the first thing we do. So today is Sunday, last night. Oh, that's so pretty. The clouds look pretty right now. So last night, I worked from 9.30, 9.45 to about 1.30. I wanted to stay all night, but y'all already know the vibes. At this point, I'm going to just stop saying it. If I stay all night, I stay. If I don't, I don't. I stayed all night one day this week. Well, I stayed till like 4.30. Close at 5, so that's all night to me. I have a lot on my to-do list today. I have to get packages. I have to clean up. I have to juice. Um, I have to plan my week. I have to empty my camera and organize some footage. Let's see finish this vlog i want to go grab me some flowers and the stuff for the juice organize and double count my money make a thumbnail plan out my week fill up my gas tank i got my rugs cleaned um this past week so i have to put the rugs back where they belong i'm helping my boo with something and then yeah pretty much clean up get the house together normal sunday reset shit uh first things first while my tea is cooking cooking while my tea is brewing i am going to get my money so we can do a money count of the whole weekend last night i counted the money from last night we made like a thousand and thirty dollars i believe but i'm gonna get all my money from thursday friday saturday and count that with you guys i want to get a lot done today but i want to get done very quickly because i want to relax and actually enjoy my sunday so let me get my money and then we'll count it together from the entire weekend. The weekend was good. I'll be right back. Let me grab this cash. Okay. So we have our stack. I am going to clean this up after. I don't know I'm cleaning my whole kitchen. But let's go ahead and count her up. Um separating our big bills so hundreds right there hundreds right here 20s right there and then ones over here that's how we gonna do it I very rarely get 50s but there's some fives Hunnets, ones, tens, ones. I have a meeting today at 4.30. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to it or not. I might because the meeting's only like an hour and a half, so I probably will go. Just so I'm in the know and updated on things that's going on with my club right now. Um, and I feel like it's a good look. It shows that you're taking the job serious and you appreciate your job and you want to know what's going on and you want to make sure your voice is heard with the concerns. I brought y'all last time I went to a meeting at my job. I don't think I'll bring you this time. I think I'm just going to pop in and pop out. Um, and I think it's about 2.15 right now. So I plan on getting everything I need to do done around the house. That way I can go to the meeting and kind of be done after that. Make sure these are all 20s, which I don't think they are. There should be hundreds in here. Yep, there we go. Okay. Okay, so let's start with the ones first. I'll count them out to 100. I got these strips. If you are a dancer, ask your local uh, bank teller for some of these one strips. Usually they will give you a stack of them, especially if you go there often and they know you're a dancer. They have no problem giving you these. That way, when you bring the money back to the bank, it's organized and ready to go. So let's count this first. I'm going to do stacks of 50. So 
that's a hundred. If I see something obviously really bent up and messed up, I try and fix it so that when I do take it to the bank, it's all good. It'll go through the money counter easy. So we got 200 and then I didn't count these yet. I'll count those last. Actually, let's do this 50. Let's do this 50, 55, 60, 70, 80, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so this is another 100. So that's 300 right there. Now let's count the big bills. So this is a thousand right here. And I'm weird since this is three, I'm gonna go ahead and count out 700 to add to this to make another thousand. Okay, so that's a thousand and that's a thousand. Four thousand two hundred and twenty. Okay. So that is our bag from the last three days, which I feel like is amazing. Be washing my hands because I'm dealing with this tea I'm about to drink. But yeah, I don't really feel like going to the meet because I'm exhausted and have a lot to do. But I feel like. Is I guess the right thing to do. But our tea is almost done, so I'll go ahead and turn that off. Actually, I'll turn it on low real quick. But yeah, that was the bag. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope y'all enjoyed spending this time with me. Um, 
Y'all know there's construction going on at my clubs and it's our locker room is super crowded. So it's kind of tough to get, you know, locker room footage. I don't want to bring my camera and someone accidentally knock it over or anything of that nature. Um, I had someone recently steal my shoes from work, which I should go to work and grab my shoes today, honestly, so I can clean them and just make sure that I have them on my body so I don't have to worry about them being stolen. But something's recently has just been telling me don't bring my camera to work and I feel like I should listen to that, which is why here lately when I'm at work, I film on my phone. Because <laughs> I just would really, it would really be unfortunate for something to happen to my camera on accident, on purpose, whatever. It'd be very unfortunate for me as well as that individual. And I just, right now, until I don't feel that no more, I just won't bring my camera to work. Um, but I, like I said, I do catch snippets when I can, like y'all saw in this vlog of me on stage and stuff, off of my phone, which, I mean, that's just fine. And then when I get home, I bust the camera out. So I'm still giving you quality, but at the trap house, the quality might be a little eh, but it's okay. So I am about to strain my tea into my little fall Halloween mug or whatever. Or maybe I won't strain it because I don't even see the strainer. Yeah, fuck it, I'll drink it. Oh well, it's not that bad anyway. plastic thing to pick this up but oh well, i'll let it cool off but yeah about to enjoy my tea and get my sunday reset started i think i'm gonna reset on my own before i start this next video because sometimes i just want to reset without filming every now and then it's like i just want to be on go i don't want to stop and get the angles so i think i'm gonna just reset on my own today oh this tea looks good But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed spending this week with me, going to work, getting some things done around the house, eating, all the jazz. So cooking, we were on live a lot this week. Um, I just posted a video, so make sure you guys are up to date. Um, I just posted a week in the life and I had a very emotional slash vulnerable moment at the end of that vlog. So um, if you haven't already, go catch up, okay? But yeah. That's about it and I'll see you guys in the next video.